come brother, praise him. All right, you can sit and the usher come around. Oh my God, come sister.
Meanwhile, you see them on fire. Yes, man. Meanwhile, you see them on fire. Oh my God Almighty, consider it because if we hear something about Mr. Uh, my brother. Yes, man. Yes, man. Uh -huh. Yes, your papa. Mm -hmm. Your grandfather. Mm -hmm. Your great grand. Mm -hmm. Hey, if we hear something about him. So, listen. Don't make no knives. Don't make no trouble. We know something about him. But you don't know. So it will reveal today. Hey! Tell your neighbor, say, it will reveal today, though. No? Tell your neighbor, it will reveal today. Yes, man, it will reveal today. So, quiet. As Sister Brown, we will come in to reveal something through the eulogy of this time. Give her a hand as she comes. to everyone here today, present as we have come together for this special occasion. Now the, I don't know if I should say the pleasure, but I'm here today to do a eulogy on behalf yeah, of my right. brother, William Now these things that I have written, I got information along the way, so here I go. Eulogy for the late William Emmanuel Gray, otherwise called Cabo or Ritz. William Emmanuel Gray was born to parents, the late Priscilla Taylor and Ruben Gray, in the cool hills of Evandale, in the parish of St. Mary, on January 29, 1941. He was the fourth of 18 siblings, born to his parents. Nine predeceased him. William attended the Mount Joseph Elementary School where he gained his formative education. He was a very well-mannered child and always willing to help, so much so that even at school he would become the messenger. The principal at the time would send him on various errands, one of them being sent to the post office all the way in Enfield, which is approximately four miles away from the school. He would pick up his iron wheel. I don't know if persons here are familiar with that, with his iron wheel and his wire steering. And he told me, that when he hit the road, nobody could catch him. And in no time, he would come to the post office, pick up the mail, and would be back at the school. Now, William was a person that is easy to love. After leaving school and becoming a teenager, he decided that, you know what, country was not for me. So, he decided with his inquisitive mind that he wanted to explore different areas of his life, or of life. So, he departed and went to live in Kingston with one of his aunts, we call her Aunt Lou. His parents were cultivators, but he did not want to be that, so he went off on his sojourn, and as I said before, to live with Aunt Lou in Trenchtown. While there, he learned to do different things 
at jobs here and there, one of which was a confectioner. He would make candies and sell to make for a living. He was a real hustler. He used to sell, like, um, in those days, kiss up and other stuff. You know, I, I could almost not read anything else because my brother said almost everything that I had written. And we, I did not tell him what I was writing. So you see, we are concurring, all right? <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Being the person that he was, or if that he was, he was always well dressed and dapper. He conducted himself with respect. He got a job working with the then Vandal store in Kingston. He did a very good job of it until the store closed down. Then he moved on to the butter store and he worked there as a supervisor. Now, William was this town man, he did not like country much. So he actually at the time came over and took one of, I heard that though, took one of my elder brother, that Leroy, who now passed, and took him with him to Kingston. So both of them was with Andrew and they were working. All right? So during his sojourn, he met a beautiful lady by the name of Katharita Pinnock. And we knew her at the time as Blandell. Now I got to know her name or current name recently because um, I learned that um, Blandell was Uncle William's fiance. So this relationship developed and produced, he told me that he had two daughters. So we know G. Queenie. Yeah, you knew her as Queenie, but we over here know her. Blanda is my aunt. Blanda is your aunt. Oh, you hear this now? Because this person, you hear me? He come and tell we say Queenie the Blanda. So we call her Blanda, you know? So no, we are getting corrected. That is not that. Well, that is the name we knew her as. You hear? So we sorry, but so we didn't know her. <laughs> and you knew her as Queenie, alright? So, um, he told me that he got two daughters. We know Jean or Sonia, and we did not know the other one. Um, I suppose this Dapper guy was loved by all, and he returned the favors. Because, based on what I heard, he loved a lot of ladies. <laughs> so Katharina was not willing to keep up with the kind of, a lot of love that he had, so for not only her, but others. <laughs> so she separated and moved on to St. Thomas with her daughter, Leaving William, giving William the freedom to choose. That's right. So, further down in life, he met and another lovely lady. Her name was Lena Williams. This union produced two boys, Kenroy and David. Again, an opportunity came for Miss Lena or to move on to Canada for a better life. After she migrated, she took her children to live with her, living with them to find a way to take care of himself. He did a favorable job of supporting himself and taking care of his sons, but he still had the desire for more. So, based on my understanding, he left Kingston and went to live in Manchester. By now,
now his children were with their mom in Canada, but they always kept in touch. In 2014, like by a miracle, William came back to live with us in St. Mary. And I must say here, thanks to his son, Dave, who made this all possible. Yes. He came back and made himself very accommodating and industrious. He would plant crops and do some odd jobs as, as he was a very independent person. He didn't like to depend on anybody, so he always do things to make sure that he can take care of himself. Now, I must pause here again to say, when William came back to us, we were so overjoyed because we had not seen him for many, many years. And when he came, the name Breds stuck to him. So all my kids, my children, used to call him, myself used to call him Breds. So when I say William, some person don't even know who I'm talking. So when I say Breds, then they know, oh, yeah, they know Breds. So he was this person, just this jovial person, willing to help doing all kinds of things, right? Um, his time was spent mostly associating and socializing with friends. He especially loved the company of J. Ray and Neville, or the talking water. Special words with would sometimes when he when he absorbed these things, special words would emanate from him like qualification. Um, Brother C spoke some of them earlier on. So he was this so knowledgeable. Any topic that you want to bring up, friends knew something about that. And he could tell you something about it. Now the name Spalo. I did not, I don't know the original root for the word star, but he told me that they called him that name while he was in Manchester. So I don't know why they called him that, but he came back and he was using the name star and persons gravitated to it. When I returned to St. Mary, showed a side of him that we didn't really know. He was very helpful and would make sure that he visited with his family members. He would always talk about his sons and I think he loved them dearly. Not that he didn't talk about his daughter, Jean, but he was always... Always keep in touch. When Dave come about, I remember one time Dave, Dave come about and inquired where, where he is. And he take him to, to Old Rock Road. You said there was a lady at four rooms from him. Yeah, man. All your crime, man. And all your crime, somebody where you came and empty and put. Yeah, because now they feel like a tears in them. As small as you come, you want to feel like a tears. You understand me? Anyway, the tears, they must get it. Yeah, man. Top of the door. God bless you. All right. Clap your hands. We have a... Clap your hands. We have the second speaker right now to come to us at this time in the Trubert area. Who will be the second one? All right, coming down. All right, coming down. Coming down. All right, do we have a third person? Who is the third person? Please, let me see your hand. She's the second. Wait. Wow. Port Lander. Wow. I saw the family still be you. Right. One of my niece. Wow. That's good. So the third one now. Who is the third one? Let me see your hand because we're going in. You know. We're doing fine. Oh, no third one at all. All right, we're going to make one. All right, as we go on now. All right? Praise the Lord. Right. Bless the Lord. Right. We magnify the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. We glorify the King of Kings. Glory. We glorify the Lord of Lords. Yes. Glory to the Lord of hosts. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. That's right. I never knew Uncle William, but yeah. I listened and I think I get some yeah. from him yeah. when they say, oh, sweet. Yeah. So if you give me this mic to sell, yeah. you surely I will sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Oh. But this is good to, you know, even though it's a sad occasion yeah. for you to know your family, it yeah. is still a joy. Yes. Bless the name of Jesus. Yeah. Glory to God. But you know the Bible tells us that it's appointed unto man wants to die, but after death comes the judgment. So it's up to us now to, you know, make it right. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen? Amen. Bless the Lord. So I just want to sing uh, this song. I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind, yeah. and it's closer now.
need it. What to sing it? To the mighty. What to sing it? Go. Glory. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you, my knees. From way over in Portland. Mighty God. Mighty God. Church of God. If we, if we listen to my God, oh, Church of God. Come on. Glory to God.
will invite us please to stand at the message. Glory! Today, our pastor for this generation, Pastor Patrick Brown, we bring the sermon to us today. And so may your heart be open. You turn your cups up today. And let God bless you. Let me see all of you that need a blessing today. Lift your hands if you need a blessing today. Believe, lift our God Almighty. Glory, glory, glory. So I'll start. Please 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 start. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Pastor, congregation, and congregation pastor. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Like the 
basis. And, and so when we have someone that can make us laugh, it's a medicine for glory to God. It is health and tonic to, to your system when someone can make you laugh. And so when one pastor says, we have to find someone that's going to make us laugh. <laughs> because laughter is always necessary. And um, as, as someone would say, you know, when growing up as a young guy in, in the church, you would hear a fool saying, I got to take a step, it's serious enough. And in those days, we think we you can do it. If you're grooming or growing, the, the, the short and the serious means that you take it serious. <laughs> put some emotion into it and put some sternness to your face. You thought that would mean serious. We know as we grow, we realize that to make your Christian in the serious is to be determined and be, you know, be committed and uh, diligent to your service for the Lord. And so I'm happy today to be standing here to preside in this manner. And I trust those listening to my voice on the street or from your homes, you'll be able to identify with us today in the service. If you are listening to us on the internet or wherever you are today, we want to greet you and to welcome you to this our ongoing Thanksgiving service for the late William Gray. Today as we share, I will be short, because when we get to this part of the funeral service, there is a time when some folks just want to go. I might say want to go. Right. So if we all want to go, then we'll make it quick and get out of here. Amen? We bless the Lord. Weeks ago, William Gray closed the book of his life. A book in the sense that it contains the record of his life. Amen? Amen. Neil Diamond wrote the song, The Story of My Life. This song was a love song, but it was a part of a chapter of his life. It says, the story of my life is very plain to read. It starts the day you came and ends the day you leave. He was reflecting on a lover and the substance she brought into his life. But it is also reflective of our life as we live it each day. Amen? Amen. Our life has three main chapters. Chapter one, of our childhood. Chapter number two, of our adult life. And chapter three, of retirement. All that we do and encounter and accomplish fall within these three chapters. It is sad that so many more young people today are not able to go beyond chapter one and a part of chapter two. It is sad that as we stand and as we worship and celebrate the life of a two-year-old person, across this nation, there are many funerals today. And the deceased is in his twenties. Yes. And younger than the twenties. So many of our young people have not gone far into chapter two. And it is also sad to say many of our old ones, our old persons, it would appear as if there are so many blank pages in their chapters that you wonder if they were in a coma for some time. So we can die early, not going too far. And if we, even if we live long, we can still have some blank pages. We didn't do a thing that wasn't. So it's like they still stop chapter two. Time is also an important factor in our lives. Because we live in a time-controlled world. Things are done in a timely manner. And so the story of our lives are written. So I want to talk us in short on this thought in process of time. In process of time. The first time time is mentioned in the scriptures in Genesis chapter 4 and verse 3. 
And it says, in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. In process of time. In process of time, it speaks to as time passes. And we do all kinds of things, some good, some bad, some pleasant, some unpleasant. As time passes and we our lives, we are fortunate in some things and unfortunate in other things. We win some, we lose some, but life goes on. Yes. Amen. Yeah. We sometimes build others and uh, they don't spend much time building ourselves. As time passes, we see others going forward while we sit back. As time passes, we do what we think is right and sometimes it's really wrong. We do some foolish things, some meaningful things, some selfish things, and we do some wonderful things, don't we? Yeah. No one lives life doing bad things alone. No. Even a bad man does some good things. Yes. Even a wicked man does some wonderful things. Yeah. And some nice people do some hurtful things. Yeah. In the process of time, a lot of things take place. Yeah. The thing is, none of us are perfect as we go in and manage time and as we navigate through time. We never stay straight all the time. Because time of a way of bringing us into some corners that we did not know of. In the process of time, we live our lives doing different things. And as a chapter, as a page of the chapter, our turn from one to two, one chapter may be many pages. And all we do are record is recorded in our life story. But in the process of time, that's where we do all that we're able to do. And so the Bible says, Came in process of time. As time passes, we don't know what Cain did all his life before this time. There's no record of his daily lifestyle. But as time passes, Cain saw it fit to bring an offering to the Lord. Can he bless his name? And so I challenge us today. All of us who are alive, and most of us are, can I say most of us today are in chapter two or three? <laughs> chapter two or three? Yes. You see, chapter two over oh, here is still the main back. Then we start seeing some little speculators of white or gray. Did I say gray? I'm not in the favorite with family. And as the as time passes, and we move into deeper into chapter two, we recognize that even the, the chin becomes a We see my brother, they look at my brother. And we look at my brother, stop me. Wow. 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 Just look at his head and look at his beard. <laughs> I'm not better than I'm not better than you. Know. I'm not better than you. I'm not better than you. But raise a raise a raise a blade. Raise a raise a raise a raise a I'm going to do some things. So in process of time, things happen. We lose that amount of energy. And we sometimes look back at chapter one and say that when I was a child, I wish I was still a child. But you can't 
get back to number one. You got to move on to number two. I heard some folks not long ago say, I, I don't want to get whole because I don't want to get burdened to anybody. Well, I want to place my burden on the Lord. That's right. Amen. 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 I want to cast my burden upon the Lord. Amen. So if I lift to be hundred, my burden is on the Lord. Amen. Let me praise his name. Amen. Right so some folks don't like where they are. Because in chapter two is the most difficult part of the life. Yeah. When you get to, you got to hustle, you got to work hard, you got to find a way to get things done. You got to strive to make life work for you. Amen. And so Cain, Bob said us, in the process of time, yeah. in the process of time, as time passes, Cain saw it fit to take an offering to the Lord. Let me bless his name. Amen. And so when we want to look now at what is important or most important. The Bible says, King brought of the fruit of the ground and offered unto the Lord. But this is what this is the part I want us to understand. In process of time. So let me read the verse one more time. And in the process of time, God said it came to pass. Yeah. It so happened. Yeah. Can we bless the Lord? Yeah. Can we praise his name? Yeah. Can we praise his name? Yeah. As, as, in the process of time, it so happened that like came brought an offering to the Lord. Oh, praise his name. You see, church, for different person, the timing may differ. But if we want as we go through the chapters and pages of our lives, we need to make sure that we have an encounter oh, with the Almighty God. Oh, yeah. Amen. In process of time, whatever we may want to do or find to do, it must so happen that somewhere along the line we will take time now to know who Jesus is. Yes. And so I don't know what King did in all his earlier life, but it so happened that at this particular time he decided to take an offering to the Lord. Are we just look at it about ourselves. Or are we taking time up to remember God? Amen. For a different person, the timing is different. Yes. Some recognize him in your youth. Some recognize him in your mature life. Some recognize him in your senior life. But it's important that in the process of time, we remember God. Can you bless his name? Can you bless his name? Can you praise his name? James 4 and verse 40 says, Whereas you know not what shall be on more. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So why do we have an opportunity? We are talking about the latter part of Cain's life. Because we know what happened to Cain later on. That's not we are going to be. What I'm talking about is that Cain, in the process of time, saw it fit to take an offering to the Lord. We also need to take time out to identify with our maker. Knowing that the Lord, He is God. It is He that not and not we ourselves. And the sheep of his pasture. And we respect him and kill him. And if we're scored from praising, we come down to him and bless his name. But the Lord is good. Can we praise God? It is important that we don't, don't just live our lives selfishly, but live it godly. Take time out for Jesus, because he took time out for us. I can't preach William today. I can't yes, take 
life to where I am today. Let's we him close the chapter of his life. Can we bless the Lord? He had chapter one, yes, yes. chapter two, yes. and chapter three. Yes. And he breaks his name. Yes. And then he closed the book. Yes. We are still in process yes. of time. Can we bless the Lord? We are still traveling yes. on the path of time. We are still able to work today. Yes. I come a good moment can work. Can come and worship it today. And come to the time, know who God is. Yes. I see it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you bless the Lord? Amen. Because if I go through all my chapters and come to the close of the day, and somebody says, and this song writer must have had some conviction. Amen. We have gone the last mile of the way. Yes. Oh, glory to God. Yes, I want. Yes. I want. Yes. Oh, glory to God. You, you know it. You know me. I will rest. I will go. I will
when somebody yes. would have kept and all that you've done in the past, yes. you have come to the realization that yes. I must take something to the Lord. And the best thing to take to the Lord is yourself. Somebody says, I give myself away.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. Is there any more families of the grain? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there any more? Thank you. That's all leave out of the grain. May God help us today. We are going to pray. Yes. But I remember, I pray that you remember the message. Yeah. the message. Yesterday it was my visiting day to the hospital and I saw people were going home. I saw people wounded. I saw people in various different ways. Can't help themselves. But while you are here, my friend, if you hear my prayer under my voice, those of you that are outside, will you please pay attention? Yep. It could be the last time yep. that we we'll hear a prayer from this house. That's right. Thank you. Let us pray. Yes. I don't want anybody to walk, to come out with prayer. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Eternal God and Father, in the name of Jesus, here we are this afternoon. Our God, in behalf of the deceased that gone before, our prayer, you will not hear it. Come on, you know, 
heart of mine. So listen, don't leave it in there, though. don't leave it in there. Come on, people, they're nice. They're nice here for everyone. Yeah. So hear me now. When you go down, when we quick, quick, go down, quick, quick, go down, come on. So when we come back, we'll be coming right here because we plan that we would have the dinner down there. But there's a little shift. Yeah. The dinner is right here, sir. Yeah. So when you come back here, you'll get your dinner. Yeah. Drinks and milk, veg and go home. All right? Yeah. So please, get ready, you know, the dinner ready. So quick, quick, we're going to come back. So tell me, say, we leave it. No, man, don't leave it. All right? So look at your page, quick. Look at your page. And we have the reception of him. Yes, man. Ah, the him. And let us start together. Let us start, man. Let us start. Let us start. All right, we sing. Huh? Okay. Praise his name. And so as we've come this far, let us continue for the rest of the afternoon in a peaceable and orderly manner. Yeah. There are times when there's a rush and uh, there's this, this array on the street. All vehicles are asked to travel together so that we can finish what we're doing in some semblance of order. Amen? Amen. So the Earth and Paul Bears are now getting ready to be the casket of the vehicle. And the minister will travel in front or maybe the behind, but we are traveling in front of the hearse and we are asking all the vehicles to come slowly behind the hearse. The, 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 the very spot is just a mile and a half down the road. So we can do that easily and get back here quickly. Amen? So let's just do it nicely and let God be pleased as we close this Thanksgiving service for William Gray. Praise his name. Praise him, all right? Okay, so the part of here is will be coming to the medicines. All right, so let us so get the form at home. Officially, don't leave, please, don't leave out. As we see, and then we go in order.
Christ. Don't worry about this point. Uh, uh, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I I don't I I all right, it's a We can't talk about it. We are driving here. We are friends. We are driving here. We are driving
food. <laughs> We are still, the process is still on. Can I ask all persons to come closer? In the church, in the church we have the service. At the graveside we have the committal. We don't preach a funeral at a graveside. We commit the body of the remain or the remain of the individual okay all the activities take place in the church therefore as we come i ask everyone to draw near because when they singing we need everyone's voice to be a part of the singing uh, and we're here just to not just to be present but to give support to the family and uh, the best support we can give at this time is our cooperation so when we sing, we sing together. Uh, allow the socialization to take place afterwards. Now we continue 
with what we started at the church. Beautiful silence. I love that. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise His name. Praise the Lord. We add at the church the closing hymn or the recessional hymn rather, and I'm just going to ask us to do one verse of that, and then we go right into the committal. The last hymn in the service. And the last verse as well. The last verse. The Lord has been so good to me. I feel like traveling on until the blessed home I see. I feel like traveling on. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Worship Let us give praise to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. He reigns supreme, yes. and there is none like unto him. He is the God of all grace, might, and miracle. Yes. All we do is subject to his authority, and uh, all that we say is known to him. What we think is known to him. And so as we come together, let us share one common thought at this time. This is where life is ends on earth Amen. at the cemetery the final resting place for all humankind because it is appointed unto man wants to die that, that, that will come later on <laughs> but this moment as we come into the cemetery it is where we make and place the last effort in uh, the remain put it where it belongs from the earth we came and back to the earth we return May God eternal bless us. Hear my cry, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold on not, thy, not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence, and be no more. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it passed, and as a watch in the night. They are as asleep. In the morning they like grass which grow it up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom psalm 39 12 to 13 and a portion of psalm 90. we brought nothing into this world and it is absolutely certain we can carry nothing out today as we stand at the last year this time that will be standing here for this occasion but time has its way of bringing Excitement, sadness, disappointment, and all that there is. We ask the family to be strong at this time. Those who look for the last time may dream later on. Those who didn't get a chance to see can still have a chance to see in the beyond. Let us trust that as we present the remain to its earthly kindred, that God will have. Assistance, please. Push our assistance. Oh, our father in the room. Who the Masons are? Where 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 the Ready? Ready? Ready. For as much as it would please Almighty God in His wise providence 
to take out of this world unto himself the soul of a brother, a friend. We therefore commit his body to the ground. Hurt to hurt. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. I heard a voice of him saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, said the scripture, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. May God eternally bless. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us, whatever experience we have, still find it in our hearts to rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you. Families, be strong. This is that moment when we see the casket, but we cannot see beyond the casket, but we know who is in the casket. Well, well, Saji, well, we won't be seeing him again. But we got eternal blessings. We're going to be having, you want to sing? You want to sing? Okay. So this friend wants to sing while the work has been done. And we will pronounce a benediction as the workmen bring to conclusion their work. Give her some water. Um, for water, that. King memory. For your water. Two thousand. Two water. And a day like this, a Saturday, I and Willie, we share together, we drink together until night. After night, we departed one to each home. When I go home the night, I kneel down on my knees and talk to God and say, take this appetite of drinking and smoking from me. Well, so it happened. 12 years ago, my smoking had gone. And don't say I would do it. But many times he asked me for light. I said, mm, I don't, I'll stop smoking on. He said, good Derek, good brother Derek. And so on. Never seen so cool this yes. Yeah. But he's a man. I love a man of my respect, elder, my him and my mother was just the same. So I respected him. Yeah, not because he was dressed like a, a man who was working a bank or a thing, but because of his ambition and dedication. But now that he's gone, I know if I live to see another hundred years, I will never see a man like him again. Wow. So therefore, I take the opportunity to look the families who are here, I'm saying to Willie, and to, he's not, cannot hear, but I'm saying to the families, yeah. I'm saying, I've got nothing but aches and troubles. I was seeking for fortune and fame. I've got nothing but doubts and confusion. I know. I've got everything. I've got everything I need to make me happy. I've got Jesus. To show me the way. For he saved me and he gave me life eternal. And now I've got everything. I was making. Big plans for my future. I was searching for fortune and fame. And then I prayed about life's only means. Hello. And now I've got everything. I've got everything that I need to yeah, make me happy. For I've got Jesus 
to show me the way for he saved me and he gave me life eternal and now I've got everything right on with it peace and love when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more we will go through the hymns on the program and then we can sing hymns of our choice hymns and courses are listed let us do them when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. Morning break, eternal bright and fair. When the safe and earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is all of yonder I'll be there. When the roll is all of yonder, when the roll is all of yonder, when the roll When the glory of the resurrection share When the shoes and one shall gather to the home beyond the skies And the roll is called up yonder I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder Labor for the master from the daughter's setting sun. Let the stalk of all his wondrous love and care. When when all of life is over and the work and wreck is done, and the world is called a young man. Can't have back water. Come on, back water. You are high, you can. You know, God, you come back here. Then, by the way, I want to come back here. Come on, come on.
Some singers. singers over there. We gotta bring them over here. Yeah. Can you bless the Lord? Yeah. I said I want some singers right in the cemetery. We need some Can singers. I get some singers oh in the cemetery? Can I get some singers, singers. in the cemetery? Who oh, bless his name? We move to the second chorus. Goodbye, yeah. world. Yeah. 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 I can't stay no longer with you. I do see you. Breathe in. Breathe in. Once in a while, my the last one. I stay no longer with you. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go that way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go that way the rest of my life. Goodbye, world. I can't stay no longer with you. Yeah, the good voice, you know. I won't stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go back to the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go back to the rest of my life. Of times, yeah. I give the world a message. Brother, 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 yes, brother. when you get here, so. Yes. Oh, Lord. It's good by Good by word. Good word. Good word. And the pilot is 
Some good singers. Yes. Come on, in Nisa. the sweet Come on, Nisa. by and by, <laughs> we shall meet at that beautiful show. Oh, yes, in, in the, the sweet by and by, we shall meet at that beautiful show. In the sweet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet at that beautiful show. Yonder, 
you never stop and tell him to be never told him. Yeah, man, And so, brethren and friends, we have come to that moment when we can no longer do anything else as human. We have done all that is humanly possible. And at this point, we leave everything to our maker and creator, eternal God. May the God of heaven bless us, strengthen the family, and give grace to those who are in need. We have seen the emotion overcome sister Jean, the daughter of the deceased. These are things that happen in this moment. Let us pray their strength that God will uphold and embrace to the glory of his name. Let us praise the Lord. Can we worship the Lord? Bless the Lord. Can we praise his name? Bless the name of Jesus. May God be glorified. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Throughout all ages. Let God's people say. Amen. With our heads bow, let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, all in thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. God bless. God bless. Sleep beloved. Sleep and take your rest. No, sir. I'm going to start Go ahead. Go beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Lay down your head. You like that. Come on, the Savior's friends. We love you. No, you like that. You hate it. 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 This is going to be too soft. Yes, yeah. Too soft. You yeah. yeah. must put some yeah. some some yeah. Yes, I'm good. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are. 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 We are.